When exporting a prescription out of desktop software for use with a CNHI proprietary implement, such as a Case H Planter or pre-2016 Patriot Sprayer, we only need to export the .CN1 data type. When using an ISOBUS implement with version 31.31 and later task controller software, we can now also do it the same way, with only a single data export without using the ISO XML task data file. We can still use the ISO XML data in the task data folder to maintain full ISO bus file type compatibility, or we can simply use a single data export out of our .cn1 proprietary data type. In addition to this, we can also import third-party shapefile prescription maps and convert them for use in our display, which will be covered in a separate tutorial. To set up prescription map application, we need to make sure we have an implement controller connected. You'll also need the task controller activated if you are using an ISOBUS implement. After the USB memory device with the RX maps has been inserted and the display turned on, press the work condition soft key. Make sure that each channel on your implement or layer has been assigned a product to map. Then return back to the home screen. Once back on the home screen, press the performance soft key. In the profile screen, make sure you have the correct grower, farm and field selected and open a new task. Then go to the RX setup screen. In the prescription setup screen, you'll see the layers and products that you just set up in the work condition screen. Tap on the prescription window for a list of available prescriptions to use. We have wheat assigned to channel 1 as a product, so we will use the wheat prescription map in this case. There will usually be some default information brought in from when the map was created in the desktop software. This can be edited here. The default rate is what the target rate will be when there is no prescription application in charge. The position lost rate will be a fallback rate if your GPS speed and position are lost when working near trees or similar. The out of field rate will be what rate the system will apply if it is switched on outside a field boundary. The next thing we have to do is tap on the coverage map to toggle through to layer one. You should see your RX map in either colors or lines. If it is all the one color, tap on the legend soft key. You can adjust your ranges here to suit the values in your map. You can also change your RX style from color to outline. This will allow you to see where the zone changes are within the field while having each layer log its as applied data coverage in colored layers. After setting up layer one, additional channels can be set up as needed. The CNHI color display can control up to seven prescription application channels at the same time across multiple implement ECUs if required. As mentioned previously, with version 31.31 task controller software, we can now use the work condition and performance screens to set up prescription application on CNHI proprietary as well as ISOBUS implements. However, there is also a new TC Wizards feature in version 31.31 and later software that makes this process we have just done even simpler when using an ISOBUS implement. On the home screen, press the Wizards soft key. Then tap on the daily operation bar. Verify you have the correct operator and units selected, then press next. Make sure you have the correct crop type selected, then press next. Select the correct grower, farm and field that your RX map is assigned to, then press next. You'll then have to start a new operation instance, which will begin a new task as well, then press next. Make sure you have the correct products assigned to each layer. 
then press next. You can then select a prescription to assign to each layer, then press next. You can then go to the run screen. 